Kia ora whanau. Howie. Excuse the uh, mess on my shirt. Just put the kids to bed and food goes everywhere, man. <laughs> goes everywhere but the mouth. <laughs> so um, I just thought I would jump on and do a post because I chucked up a post. It's long weekend here in Aotearoa, New Zealand, and um, me and my whanau. So whanau means family. Um, we went up to Kaikoura for the weekend. Had an amazing weekend with the whanau. Yeah, it was just us. We're camping and um, yeah, we had a bit of downtime at night and over the past few days, I've really been thinking about, I had time to reflect on my journey and um, I guess you would say in my life of crime. And uh, I got to thinking about just the whole whole journey, but what really caught my mind was I was, um, as I was looking back, I questioned myself as to how did I end up in two clubs? Because I never had actually, although I had made the changes and I knew that I just wanted something different, I, I had never actually sat back and reflected on how I came about it and stuff like that. You know, I knew that I wanted change and I never really got the concept of being open-minded and um, I found myself questioning my loyalty to each club, you know, um, as to why I joined, not why I joined, but the reasons behind it and stuff like that and I actually had to dig deep, you know, because I was like, man, my loyalty, like, I started to question it. I had to find my answers. I found my answers and it brought me back to being open-minded, you know, um, because as you go through life, things change. So, so, so do we. So do our, our, our minds, our desired outcomes. They all change. So to be narrow-minded, you stick with the one thing and you think you're doing the solid and you're being the man by saying you're loyal, you're this, you're that. But you're being narrow-minded. Once you start opening up and opening your mind up to life, that you can have more and you can have better things. The current thing that you're that the current thing that you're doing, if it's no longer serving your purpose, if if you want to explore bigger and better things, there is no shame in that. You're not a punk if you are wanting a fresh start in life. You know, if you're wanting bigger and better things. Now that's not to talk shit about the the place that you're in right now. The place that you're in right now has served the purpose, you know, if you've learnt the lessons that it has thrown at you. But if you haven't learnt the lessons and you stay narrow-minded, then this is where you're caught in this vicious circle. And, you know, that's what leads to suicide, depression, anxiety. Now, I'm not a doctor, all right? I'm only talking off my, my um, self-assessments, you know, because I actually do sit down and put my pen to paper and reflect in depth on the path that I have chosen to take and continue to take. So I need to reflect back on that. And um, you come across some harsh realities and some half truths, some harsh truths about yourself. And a lot of people can't take that on board. They're like, oh, nah, nah, that's not me. I'm, I'm, brr. But bro, things change along the way. Things do change. So does this, you know? And so does your wants and desires. The reason I share this is because I know that there's a lot of people stuck in their current situations, but they're too scared to change it because they're scared of being called, you know, like you've got no loyalty, you've got no this and that. Now, upon my reflection, how I come to know that it was, I had outgrown the purpose of why I joined in the first place. I, it, But it's called growth, you know, it, it's called growth. And so... I knew that I had wanted that I wanted more and wanted better for my whanau, for my babies. I wanted a safe whare for my babies, you know. I didn't want them brought up in a angry, violent environment, you know. I want to keep them safe. Now, I'm not saying I'm wrapping them in bubble wrap or anything like that. If you've lived a life, similar life that I have, you'll know that there are, are things that you wish you never seen, you know. Even though they taught us the lessons, 
some of those lessons are, lessons are very, very harsh, eh? And um, sometimes we don't recover from them because I know that I still have dreams and shit, you know, about the stuff that I have done and things that I have seen, you know? I still have nightmares. So, and that's not all your week, you this, you that, bro. Like, the followers with the smart ass fucking comments, your time hasn't come yet, or you're narrow-minded. You're stuck. You're stuck. You can't get out of outside this. <laughs> you know? Break these down, man. You can have better. You are entitled to better. You can have it. But it's going to come down to a lot of guts, a lot of tears, a lot of a lot of disheartening things along the way that will probably make you want to go back to where you've just tried to climb out of, you know, stick to it. It's going to be hard. It is going to be hard because you're in, you're in a, you're in an unfamiliar place. So don't turn back as soon as you think it might be going wrong, because how do you know it's going wrong? Because you're trying something new. It could very possibly be that step that you need in order to prosper and grow, man, you know? So that's why I share, you know, um, it was only just, just a quick post to say, be open-minded, you know, don't, don't, don't let yourself be stuck in that hole and don't let yourself be consumed by just negative thoughts or just um, singular thoughts. My darling's just got home. <laughs> and um, yeah, so open-minded, man. Look, Start looking at life with an open mind. Your current situation is not the end. The current feelings you're feeling and the current things you're going through are not going to last forever. If you break down this narrow thinking, that this has to come down. You put your hands like this, you can't see what's here. That's the same as life. If, if, you're, if you're always like this, just looking at the things that, that, how can I say, like, it's not even working for you at the time because you're not happy, you know? But pe people are just lost as to where to look and to where to turn, but not knowing that all your answers are in here, but you've got to take down those walls. This has to become this. Love, light, and happiness, whanau. Have a good week, and yeah, I'm going to leave it there. Kia ora.